Okay, here we go again with a completely experimental version of bingo breaking. Um, why don't we start out with the, somebody said they wanted to see my janky sleeves. So here's my janky sleeves um, on my sweatshirt that I've been wearing for years because I do a job where it doesn't matter what it looks like and it still keeps me warm. I already had it repaired once. They, uh, these were completely tattered and I had them folded over and put a new hem on them. But now it's falling apart worse and worse every time I wash it. But it still keeps me warm and it doesn't matter in this job. Uh, let's start out by um, picking the order of the cards. This is completely experimental. This is totally extra. First card is going to be Paul. We're gonna go right there. Second card is going to be, this one fell out first. So that is Sanjay. This one fell out next. That's gonna be, well, no, let's, let's do the shake to be fair. And it came out the same, Kyle, right there. And the last card is Devin. Now it's time to actually draw cards. We have a five for Paul. One, two, three, four, five for Paul. We have a five. One, two, three, four, five for Sanjay. We have 10 for Kyle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the last one we have is a two. That's doubles, comes from the back. One, two for Devin. There are the bingo cards. What is the experiment? The experiment is something I had actually considered but discounted the idea because in bingo there are only 75 numbers. So using any numbering system that goes beyond 75 doesn't really work. And sets of cards, uh, the experiment is using the card numbers of the cards we draw to choose the numbers instead of choosing actual bingo numbers. The heater is killing me. Let me turn that off. Okay. Um, so the experiment is, how do I get all of these in the frame? Why are they not in the frame? It worked before. Okay, the experiment is using card numbers as we draw the cards. And since there are so many card numbers available, we're just going to use the last two digits. Um, my prediction for this is that it will take a lot more cards. Well, why will it take more cards? Okay, first of all, any number that's over 75 will just be an extra card. It will not be counted as a number. And so any number, so that's 25% of the cards we draw will just be extra. And in addition, we're going to see a lot of duplicate numbers. Because if the number is 55, there's going to be a 55, a 155, 255, 355. So I think this is going to take a lot of cards to get through. We're going to do this in one fail swoop. One long setting. Hopefully it won't take 45 minutes because I will run into issues with the camera battery and the memory. We are going to once again use a stack of cards from Fairfield Pharmacy Boxes. First card is Rodney Craig. The number is 64. Wait, nope, that's his average. The number is 97. 97 is a completely extra number. The next card is Bill Bath. The card number is 81. That is above and beyond 75. Next card is Castillo. Card number is 49. Who has a 49? 49 would be uh, in G, I believe, right? G, 49. G49. 
Should I put these face up or face down? I'll put them face down so that I can see the card number. G49, nobody has that. I have to mark my board over here. Okay, next card we have is Greg Olson. Card number is 46. Who has a 46? That's going to be in G. Now this is one issue that I'm already running into. I have to remember which letter is assigned which numbers. They go in 15s, but having to remember one extra detail is just a little bit of extra work. 46. Now it's also so hot in here, I'm taking off my janky sleeves. All right. Next card we have is Tim Leana. That card number is 23. Let me actually mark 23 on my board first. And 23 should be in I. Who's got a 23? The main point of this experiment is to see how many times we get double numbers, how many times we get numbers beyond 75, and how many total cards it takes for someone to get bingo. This is card number 43. Um, we did not pull card 43 yet. So who has a 43? That would be in the N. There's one for Kyle. That's the only one. Let me mark my board over here. Next card. Oh, I didn't even read. That was Alfredo Griffin. Next card is John Russell. And that is going to be 84. Completely extra card. Next we have Rich Gedman. That's going to be 76. Completely extra. So... This is going to be a lot more looking at cards and a lot less goofing around drawing numbers. This is Kevin McReynolds, and the card number is 11. That's going to be in the B, right there, 11. 11. And then let me mark my board over here. Next we have Kevin Elster, card number 7. That's also going to be B. There's number seven right there. Let me mark my board over here. So this will be a faster pace with a higher number of cards and also a lot of duplicates. We have 14, Glenn D. Hubbard, uh, number 14. There's one for Paul. There's one for Devin. Um, once the boards start to fill up, we're going to start running into a lot more duplicates, I think. Uh, we have 49. We've already drawn number 49, so Eckersley is just a complete bonus card. Next, we have Johnny Ray. Card number is 44. We have not drawn 44 yet, so let's see who has a 44. There's one for Paul. There's one for Sanjay. There's one for Kyle. Kyle is already only two numbers away from achieving bingo. Once again, these will be completely extra, and I will include them in your package, just like the first practice round. We have Pat Perry as the next card, and the number is 30. Okay, who's got a 30? That would be in the I. Yeah. I would be 30. All right, there we go. One for Devin. Next card is a Diamond Kings, Jim Clancy. And the card number is 19. Who has a 19? That would also be an I. There is an alternate version of Bingo Game. I did not actually realize that this is primarily a um, the, the 75 number Bingo Oops, I've, I've been forgetting to uh, mark these numbers on my board. There's 19. There's 30. Um, this version of Bingo is primarily an American version. 44 we already marked. There is another version that uses 90 or 100 numbers. So maybe I will take a look at getting that version of the game. 
and then this would be less duplicate numbers. Uh, we have Alan Ashby, number 45. We have not yet drawn number 45. Let me try to remember to mark it on my board first. Now 45 is going to be in the N row. Okay, nobody has one. Next card we have Cookie Rojas, and the card number is 97. That's completely extra. I suppose if uh, if we went with cards above 75 and we just used the last digit, but that would be too heavy on the B row. Um, so we'll probably not do that. We'll just go with the extras. We have Scott McGregor, card number 13. Let me mark that on my board over here and then see who has a 13. There we go. One for Devin. Next card we have is Brian Dunsing, Dunsing, and that card is number 30. Number 30 has already been drawn, so that is an extra card. We have Daniel Norris, a Blue Jays rookie. That card number is 17. Let's mark my number here and then see who has a 17. That's going to be in the I column. There's one for Sanjay. That's it. Next card we have is a Topps Finest of Dallas Keuchel. I always say his name wrong. I, I know that it's Keuchel, but I always say Kuchel. But anyway, Dallas Keuchel. And that card number is number 10, right there. So who has a number 10? Let's see here. Nothing for Devin, nothing for Kyle, nothing for Sanjay, and nothing for Paul. Next card we have is Rick and Keel. Fleer Traditions. I like these Fleer Traditions. The card number is 62. So who's got a 62? Well, that's the first number that we've drawn in the O column. 62. There's one for Paul. And that's the only one. The next card we have is Dante Bichette. Card number is 88, completely extra. We have Storm Davis on the Royals. Card number is 11. Let's see here. 11 has already been drawn, so that is an extra card. We have John Wetland. Card number is 68. That's going to be in the O column. Here's a 68. Here's a 68. Nothing for Kyle. And there is one for Devin. Next card is Will Clark. And the card number is 6. 6 is in the B column. B6. Uh, nothing for Paul. Nothing for Sanjay. Nothing for Kyle. Nothing for Devin. We have... Dale Mahoric, Mahor Mahorsik, Morsik, somebody tell me how to say that. The card number is 96, completely extra. Next card is Rick Reed, card number 77, completely extra. We have Royce Clayton, card number 88, which is extra. We have Chad Kreuter, Kreuter, Chad Kreuter, card number, is there a card number on here? There it is in the bottom, 48, let's see, 48 has not been chosen yet, that is in the G column, so we have G, 48, nothing there, nothing there, there's one for Kyle, nothing for Devin, next card is... Bernard Gilkey, card number is 22, okay, there's 22, 22 is in the I column, nothing there, nothing there, 
nothing there. So one of the issues with doing it this way with all of these extra cards included would be, uh, here's James Moulton, card number 75. That's going to be in the O column, 75. Uh, one issue is if it takes twice as many cards and I'm using the packs that we use for minute rips, it's going to get very expensive. Uh, last time it took only six packs to complete the bingo game. If it were 12 packs, we start running into a lot more cost for shipping and the cost of cards. We have Mike Balecki. Card number is nine. Nine is in the B column. So B9, there's one for Paul, one for Sanjay. Sanjay is the first person that only needs, no, he's not the first person. There are now two people who only need one number to complete a bingo. Uh, O71 for Sanjay or a, an I-16 for Kyle would be bingo. We have a Bowman Shohei Otani. Card number is 34. 34 is in the N column, so N, 34. There's one for Paul. One for Sanjay. One for Kyle. Kyle now has two different directions where a single number could win him all of these cards. The next card, oh, and there were none for Devin. The next card is Bubba Trammell. Card number is 83. That is extra. We have Mel Stottlemyre. Card number is 61. 61 is in the O column. O61 is the number. There's one for Paul. Nothing for Sanjay. Nothing for Kyle. Nothing for Devin. Interesting how every time we play this game, it seems like somebody, everybody is fairly even, but somebody has hardly anything drawn. Next card is Justin Thompson, and the card number is 52. 52 is in the G column, so we have G52. There's G52 for Paul, nothing for Sanjay, nothing for Kyle. Nothing for Devin. Next card is Scott Spezio on the Oakland A's. Nice looking card. Sorry to see it go. We have 32 as the number N32. Now there's another option, N32. Uh, what if we were to just eliminate, there's one for Devin. What if we were just to eliminate any cards that were above and beyond 75 and just move them off to the side? We would be looking at cards, but they wouldn't be part of the prize. Um, we could do... Yeah, I don't know. We have Carlos Mendoza for the Devil Rays. Look at all these extra foil-stamped logos on here. Pretty cool card. The card number is 49. 49 has already been chosen so that is just an extra card yeah i don't like the idea of discarding them off to the side we have gerald clark card number 77 that's extra we have curtis wilkerson card number 23 23 has already been chosen that's extra we have alex gonzalez Card number 67. 67 is in the O column. O67 is the number. Who has an O67? There's one for Sanjay. One for Kyle. Nothing for Devin. We have Erasmo Ramirez. Card number 28. Let's see. 28 is an I. I28 is the number. Nothing for Paul. Nothing for Sanjay. There's one for Kyle. There's one for Devin. We have Ed Nunez. Card number 58. 58 is in the G column. So this is interesting. We are at 20 minutes. G58 is the number. 
uh, that is about the same amount of time that I think it has taken for a person to achieve bingo in our previous games, at least some of the practice runs that I did. But the interesting thing is we've gone through about twice as many cards to get there. So maybe this is better, but maybe not if I'm using brand new packs. Lou Whitaker is the next card. That is 96, completely extra card. So the next card is Paul O'Neill. Card number is 39. 39 is N, so we have N, 39. There's one for Sanjay, no, one for Paul. There's one for Sanjay. And there is one for Devin. Now everybody on the board has a different direction where one number could get them a win. We have Joey Cora, card number 59. 59 is G. G59 is the number. Okay, nothing for Paul, nothing for Sanjay, nothing for Kyle, nothing for Devin. Next card we have is Jim Gott. Card number two. That's B, so we're looking for B2. Nothing for Paul. There's one for Sanjay. There is one for Kyle. We are getting close, guys. And nothing for Devin. Next card is Kevin Seitzer. Card number 19. 19 is going to be in the I column. It was already drawn. That's an extra card. We have Gary Varsho. Card number 17. 17 is going to be already drawn. We have Dan Quisenberry, card number 95, that's an extra card. We have John Barfield, card number is 83, that's an extra card. So yeah, definitely a lot more looking at cards, maybe that makes this more fun. Brian Lawrence, card number is 84, that's an extra card. All of these cards... We're going to go to the first place winner so far. Tracy Jones, card number 96, that's extra. Jeff Facero, nice looking card right here. 27, 27 is an I, so we have I-27. There's I-27 for Paul. There is one for Sanjay. Nothing for Kyle. One for Devin. Next card, Tiger card, Milt Coiler, uh, Co 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 uh, card number is 36, let's see here, 36 is N, N, 36, nothing, 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 there's one for Devin, interesting, if we, if we pull a 40, two people would get bingo, but Paul would be first. Next card we have is Jeff Musselman, card number 29, 29 is I, I-29, is I-29, and that is a bingo for Paul, Paul wins all of these cards, there's nothing for Sanjay, there's one for Kyle, and nothing for Devin, so let's count how many cards it took to get bingo, the average number of draws it takes to get bingo is 30. We saw in uh, our first actual game that it only took 11, which was incredibly fast. So let's see how many it took. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1920. Who knew? Just counting baseball cards is fascinating content. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So my first guess was roughly accurate that it would take about twice as many cards to get a bingo. There's the prize for Paul. Let's just continue with the game. That was 25 minutes, so it was five minutes longer than my experiments. 75 is the next number already chosen. That's extra, but it was nearly twice as many cards. Ellis Burtz is the next one. Oh, I didn't, did I even read that one? Joe Orsilak. We have 43 as the next number. 43 has already been chosen. That's extra. We have Bob Horner, 18. 18 is in I, I-18. Nothing for Sanjay, nothing for Kyle, nothing for Devin. But oh, this one's pretty. We have Jorge Pad Padilla, Bowman Chrome. Nice looking card right there. That is number 67. 67 has already been chosen. That's extra. We have Lucas Giolito from 2020. Card number 75 with some kind of mark on the back here. Uh, I wonder if that's ink transfer from the sheet behind it. But anyway, 75 has already been chosen. That's extra. We have Mark Gubit Gubitsa. Gubitsa. Maybe the C is silent. 65 is the number. That's going to be O65. Let's see who has an O65. Nothing for Sanjay. Nothing for Kyle. There is one for Devin, and that is a bingo. Devin, one, two, three, four, five, six cards for you. Remember, these are in addition to everything that you've already won. Let us just continue straight forward with the game. No breaks in today's video. Lenny Dykstra. Card number 45. 45 has already been chosen. That is extra. We have Steve Fry. Card number 62. 62 has already been drawn. That's extra. We have Tommy Gregg. Card number 85. That's past 75. That's extra. We have Mark Langston. Card number 90. That's extra. Alex Cole. Card number 86 is extra. We have a checklist. That is extra. We have Greg Olson. Card number 8. 8 is in B. B8. Let's put some markers on B8. Nobody has B8. We have Andres Galarraga. Card number 46. 46 is already selected. That is extra. Oops. Bumped into the camera. You guys are seeing behind the scenes over there. We have Kevin Mitchell. Card number 77. Extra. Jim Rice is card number 20. Uh, I-20 is the number. Who has an I-20? Nobody has an I-20. We have Steve Searcy. Card number 15. 15 is B. B15 is the number. Nobody has a B15. We have Bobby Witt. 54 is the number. Now this brings up a whole new issue. G54 is that... Um, G54. Okay, the issue is that when you're playing regular bingo, once you draw a 54... That number is eliminated from the possibles that you draw after that. But in this version of Bingo, we have no control over the number of times a number will be drawn over and over again. So we could conceivably get to a point where somebody only needs one more number and we just keep drawing a hundred times and don't get that number. 
Uh, we have Ramon Martinez, card number 36. 36 is already drawn, that's extra. We have Glenn Borgman, card number 16. That is I-16. I-16 right here for Sanjay. And an I-16 for Kyle is bingo right across the top there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cards for Kyle. Let me flip these over. I didn't count these for Devin. It wasn't very many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I count them? Maybe I did. Six cards for Devin. 57 cards for Paul. Six cards for second place. 14 for Kyle. And now we just have to draw cards until Sanjay has bingo. There are one, two, three different ways that you could get bingo with a single number. This is card number nine. Nine has already been drawn. That's extra. This is, uh, I didn't even read the name on there. Bruce Souter. We have Joe Morgan. Card number five. Five right there. That's B5. Next one is Jimmy Key. Card number 95. That's extra. We have Rick Leach. Card number 31. 31 is N. You do not have an N31. Next card is Charles Nacy. Charles Nagy. Charles Nagy or Nagy? Card number is 41. 41 is N. You do not have an N41. Next card is Dean Palmer. Card number 45. We have already picked 45. That is extra. We have Donovan Solano, card number 67. 67 has already been drawn. That's extra. Derek Lilliquist, card number 73. 73 is O. You do not have an O73. We have Willie Akins, card number 24. 24 is I. You do not have an I-24. Dave Anderson is the next card. 56 is the number. 56 is G. G-56. You do not have a G-56. Next card is Omar Oliveris. Card number 71. 71 is O. 71 is O. 71 right there. There is a bingo for Sanjay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 cards for Sanjay. 33 minutes. That's roughly the same amount of time that it took to do the regular bingo game with drawing numbers, but we spent twice as much time looking at cards, and we handed out twice as many cards. So thank you for participating in that experiment. You guys had no idea you were going to get three complete bingo games when you signed up for this, did you? Um, I like the idea. It seems more fast-paced, more fun. We spend more time looking at cards and less time goofing off. I'm not 100% certain if that will work when I am opening brand new packs, but we may or may not give it a try. And there is another version of Bingo that I will be looking at. Instead of using 75 numbers, it uses a different style of board, and it has there's a version with 90 numbers and a version with 100 numbers. 100 numbers would be ideal if we could get some interesting looking boards. All of the boards looked pretty boring to me, but I'll be taking a look at that and see how that works out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for participating. 
and see you next time.